The idea of some soldier in the field calling up a staff sergeant going, Sarge, we need more chocolate, uh, is the funniest thing I can imagine. What you're about to see today is highly classified material, because as it turns out, the US military made a candy bar, and they can argue whether it is or whether it isn't, it most certainly is. And this is it right here, the chocolate flavored First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. They're really trying not to call it a candy bar, but uh... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a candy bar to me. This is by far the most interesting and fascinating candy bar I've ever come across because the US military actually spent millions of dollars, and I mean millions with an M, in research, development, and manufacturing to make this for soldiers in the field, I'm assuming, making it probably the most expensive bar I've ever reviewed on this show. Named after one of the greatest video games of all time, Third Strike. That's not a debate, by the way. Don't even try to come at me with your garbage. This is going to be interesting because if you look at the side of it there, the, uh, the thing that matters. This has like no calories. 280 calories for a bar that's supposed to be geared towards soldiers that need as much energy as possible. That sounds really low. I don't know why that's so low. However, it's got hella vitamins. Look at all these vitamins. You got at least 10 here. And I guess that's where the nutrition part comes right in. Let's go ahead and take the first strike ourselves and crack this bad boy in half. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Gross. Opening up this candy bar is like clicking on a YouTube video with an animal in it, only to have that godforsaken ukulele music start playing out of nowhere. I mean, yeah, you'll still watch it, and it's still okay, but you went from being, ah, to, ah, oh, god. A disappointment, that's for sure, but the shiny exterior hides a very strong chocolate aroma that, oh, is, is exactly as hard as you might expect, but also, it's very flexible. If you look real closely, you can see little bits of prune embedded inside the entire bar, and yes, they are Prune, I checked. They loaded this thing with prune for some godforsaken reason. 50,000 prunes used to live here, and now it's a candy bar. All right, let's go ahead and take a taste. I wonder what'll happen if I piss off the trillion dollar military industrial complex. Let's find out. Uh, this ain't great. So you call yourself a chocolate bar. That's cool. Hey, I'm all for it. However, if you're gonna do that, maybe you should taste a little bit like chocolate, uh, which this certainly does not. There's a very strong date and prune flavor, which is a uh, sweet, yeah, that's for sure. And also it's got some crispy, rice crispy bits in the center of it, which was actually a really pleasant surprise. That was fantastic, but it don't taste like no chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt here and saying if you had to eat some sort of chocolate bar, uh, don't eat these because I know what comes in those MREs. You like M&Ms and other actual chocolate bars in those MREs, you really don't have to eat this. Oh god, it prunes? Like, do, do they not know raisins exist? I I'm serious, by the way. Street Fighter Third Strike is the greatest video game of all time. And if you don't know, now you know. 